In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, one of the app, the Nurture Solutions, uh, Nurture Component Solution called as Nurture Apps Maker. Now, what it is, it's a model driven app. It is targeted towards the makers within your organization. It contains following section, template catalog, solution assessment, upcoming events, my registered events. Now, uh, again, this is just a consumption app. So it will, there won't be any configuration to be done by a maker, but then maker will consume the content. Now where all this content will be configured is it will be configured in a separate app called as Nurture Apps Admin. Now the Nurture Apps Admin configuration I have already covered in one of my video. So please have a look into that before you come into uh, view this app. Okay, so let's go into the demo. Nurture Apps Maker. Now, Nurture Apps Maker, how do you navigate to this? Again, go into your solution, Center of Excellence, Nurture Component Solution. Under that, go on Objects, Apps, and if you select Nurture Apps Maker, click here, click Play, and then this app will be visible to you. Now, Nurture Apps Maker, now this is just a consumption app, okay? So all the content will be visible. It's a read-only kind of an app, whereby you just click uh, on the tiles. Okay. Now, how all these configurations are done, it is done in a different app called as Nurture Apps Admin. So all the content, video, training events, maker assessment app, template app, all these things can be configured in admin and then it will be visible in maker. Now, in my last video, I've already created a template catalog content. So template catalog is basically uh, a set of documentation. It can be an image, it can be video, it can be uh, some template, which uh, may be used within an organization to standardize some processes. Okay, so take for example, if there is a code review process within your organization, those templates will be visible over here. If, uh, if before you start building an app, if uh, admin wants to understand some parameters, which needs to be filled by an end user or a maker or a citizen developer. Those things needs to be filled and those templates are exposed over here. It can be a leave template, it can be best practice stock, it can be anything, you know. So template is uh, basically a, uh, a structure uh, which uh, when utilized uh, fills up the instance of that particular template and it will be used for uh, the betterment of your organizational processes and standardization. Solution assessment. If you click on solution assessment, this screen will be uh, showing you some sort of a wizard based uh, uh, approach. Okay. Now this wizard guides you through a series of questions regarding the audience data and support of the solution you're planning on building. So if a maker has some idea and if that maker wants to build some solution around it uh, uh, so it will uh, this particular uh, section will allow the maker to uh, fill in some information based on uh, some ideas okay so let's assume if in an organization maker decides that hey i want to build some solution for uh, say document management okay so then i'll say uh, document management or HR, <clears throat> okay. Then who is the target audience? I'll say HR, finance. Okay. Now here, link to your idea and the innovation backlog. For time being, just assume that this is uh, some hyperlink. Okay. Now what this hyperlink is? It is coming from an another app called as Innovation Backlog, which I'm going to cover in a separate video. Now, what is an Innovation Backlog app? Innovation Backlog app is an app which is kind of uh, a um, like a repository whereby end user, if any user within your organization has some ideas to uh, either improvise the process or set some standardization or put some governance guardrails or, uh, you know, or any ideas which they want to materialize into an app flows, reports or something or the other uh, to drive efficiency or improve productivity they can put those ideas in an innovation backlog. And once you put that idea in an innovation backlog, you take the URL of that. Okay, so let's let's assume the URL is say, um, okay. This idea is like, this is just like a random URL which I have kept now, but uh, it should uh, come from the innovation backlog uh, section. And once you put that, it 
references that idea with the solution which you are proposing to the organization now coming back to the solution i'll say i want to have a document management for hr so i'll just put solution description document management solution for hr in power apps with responsive layout okay and i can put other text around it okay i'll just say next okay now essentially what the maker is doing is like the, the maker is proposing a solution it is putting the solution name is saying who will be the target audience what will be the description and what kind of solution type it is but there's a power bi app it's a workflow external web app mobile or tablet app let's say mobile or tablet app is our solution what is your use case use case is it is for productivity okay now watch for the section over here okay now the moment i select something over here like let me go back and show it to you uh what is a solution type okay so maybe i'll say chatbot or maybe a mobile app now the moment i put something you see something on the right hand side okay something pops up okay see here okay now these all things are configured using an admin app okay which i'm going to cover it in a separate video okay but watch out for that space what is your use case enterprise app it says there is some action is to be done okay let's click on next audience how often will the app be used maybe monthly who is the target audience my business unit does your solution require vendors to access the data yes what is the audience size 5500 then i say what are the data are you looking uh, within the app are you going to store large image no what data will we be using in the app maybe sharepoint data do you require hierarchical security yes do you need row level security no how complex is your data model simple or flat are there custom apis that you need to connect no how many backends or data sources are used maybe one or two do you require field level security no what are your reporting requirements it's simple reporting okay so these questions are pertaining to data previous that use uh, it was related to audience and use case now going to the complexity now from a complexity perspective will you be using ai models i'll say no how many steps are you in a workflow 1 to 25 will you be developing a multi-step business process no does the app need to work offline no does your app need to support multiple language i'd say yes okay and i click on next support from a support perspective who will be building the app i'd say me and my team who will be supporting that either it is you or maybe i need help okay now how important is that it is i'd say important but not business critical from a security perspective does your app need anonymous user access yes needed ai do you need chat gpt i'll say okay 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 now see the section now this section can be configured you know you can add or remove component over here based on your organization's need accordingly within a section you can add multiple questions now this section has one question similarly you can have five questions and then every question has some sort of an uh, uh, like a vision guide okay on uh, what to show over here once someone selects that option okay so these all solution assessment can be configured now microsoft has provided you this particular framework you need not use that you can have your own set of question piece these all things can be configured using a model driven app so it is that simple okay coming back to the power platform solution assessment i click on next and then a final report will be shown to me this report will show you that uh, based on your answers your solution may require additional licenses <clears throat> additional support use of power pages so it tells you it gives you a guide that you may need additional license than what you have currently you may need additional support so you need to contact uh, the admin or makers or citizen developers you can take support of your organization staff and it use make use of power pages based on your answers we don't think you require capacity add-on and ai builder licenses okay so it has given you some green marks as well okay so what you do with it you can uh, either contact the admin or maybe you just view the details okay now this is how the details might look like okay so it will tell you uh, 
from a premium perspective does your app need to support multiple language answer is yes then you need a premium license for it you don't need ai builder you don't need storage you need some power pages support does your solution require vendor to access data so yes or definitely you need to expose the app to an end user so from the app perspective so that's how you get a summary of the solution assessment and then you can take a print out of it and then you can present it to your manager and then manager can either approve or reject that request Okay. so this is how the maker proposes a solution identified in the innovation backlog to make it a reality to make a uh, say power app or website or any application out of it so that's all about nurturing uh, ideas within your organization uh, coming back to training event now here <clears throat> once an admin configures the event all the tiles will be listed over here what you need to do you need to either go into all section and see what all events are there you can also get uh, navigate based on the level advanced expert intermediate beginner and then based on that you can register for that training so if i am interested in say this training i will register for it i'll put my <coughs> name okay and then i can register for it okay now once i am registered my registered event details will be shown in this particular uh, training event now i have already registered for this event i can go into this my training event and see that which training i have registered i can click on view details to view the details of this training and i can click on the join microsoft teams meeting once the training starts Okay. so that's it folks this is all about nurture apps maker uh, application this is targeted for makers and makers can view the training events view the template catalog and uh, do some selection assessment for the solution and ideas within the innovation backlog thanks for watching